When building reports, it's important that people not only understand what you're saying, but also remember it. Picture fill charts are a simple way to make your data visualizations more captivating and memorable. You can create them with column charts or area charts. Let's take a look. This technique is easy to do with area charts, but column charts require a bit more wrangling. The trick is to use a stacked column chart. The image is placed in the plot area and the top series hides the image above the main series that we can see on the bottom. The data table here contains the year and member numbers that I want to visualize. The helper column contains the dummy series, which is calculated by adding 20% to the maximum of the members column minus the current row member number. This way, the total of the two columns is the same for every year. And that makes the height of our columns equal. So I'm just going to delete that. Let's select the data and then on the insert tab, I'm going to insert a stacked column. Let's just bring it up here closer to the data and I'll make it a bit bigger. The first thing is the year has been interpreted as a series rather than the axis labels. Let's right click and select data to fix it. So here with the year selected, I'm just going to remove it. And then I want to edit the horizontal category axis labels and here I'm going to select the year values and that's fixed those two issues. Next, I want to set the gap width on the columns so that there's zero gap width. So control one to open the formatting pane and let me just drag it over from the dock so it's closer to the chart. So we want the gap width to be zero and then I'm just going to turn off the chart title, grid lines and legend. You can add a title to your chart if you want. I'm going to leave it out for the purpose of this example. Next, I want to fill the helper series with the same color as my chart fill. So if your chart has a specific fill color, then you'd match this top series to that. Mine is white, so we're just going to format them in white. And then the bottom columns, I'm going to set the fill color to no fill so that when I put my image in, we can see it through the columns. Now the chart appears empty, but don't worry, it is all there. Next, we need to choose a picture to use, but keep in mind that if the picture has a lot going on, the reader will be too busy looking at the nice picture instead of reading and interpreting your chart. For example, I find this one distracting because the light parts of the image above the horizon are quite different to the lavender fields below. So instead of drawing your eye to the top of the columns as it should, your eye is drawn to the image. Now I'm going to use a Microsoft stock image that I can get by the insert tab, pictures, stock images, and these come free with Microsoft 365. If you don't have Microsoft 365, then you can get an image from iStock Photo or a similar image sharing service. I want to find a picture of a meadow and I want this one here, so we'll insert that. Now it is a bit busy and a bit too colorful. So I'm going to use the picture formatting tools available on the picture format tab. And then I'm going to recolor it. And I could use one of these defaults, but I'm going to go in and set my own color. And there's one here that I used earlier. So I'm just gonna go with this lavender color. Now with my picture ready, I'm going to copy it to the clipboard and I'll just move it down here out of the way. Now you might be tempted to select the columns and then go into the fill and picture or texture fill and then copy it from my clipboard. But what happens is it squishes the whole image into each column and it looks terrible. So we don't want that. I'm going to control Z to undo that. Instead, what I want is the plot area and it's a bit tricky to select sometimes. So I'm just going to click the drop down select it from the list here and then under fill I want picture or texture it's already copied to my clipboard if you haven't copied a picture to your clipboard you can insert it and you can browse to your computer or a local network the stock images which is where I got my picture from online pictures or even icons I've got it already on my clipboard so I'm just going to click clipboard and my image is sitting in the plot area behind my columns. So there's my top series and my bottom series. Now I need to hide this section at the top. So I'm going to adjust my vertical axis 
so that it stops at 2,000 instead of 2,500. And that way it's sitting behind the columns. Now I need to make these look more like columns. At the moment it's just one big blob. So with them selected, I'm going to format the outline in white and we just need to make it thicker. So we'll give it this four and a half point. And now we have a column chart with an image that spans all of the columns. Now I'd like to add labels to this chart, but the labels won't stand out on the top of this picture. And because it's a stacked column chart, I can't set the labels to sit above the columns. But what I can do is I can borrow these columns and put my labels in there. So let's go and do that. Data labels, more options. And then in here, I want no leader lines. I don't want the value for the helper column. I want to choose value from these cells, which is the value for the bottom columns. Click OK. There they are. Let's sit them inside the base. So they're currently sitting inside the base of the helper columns, which is also above my main series. Now that I've got the columns labeled, I don't also need to see this vertical axis. So let's go down and set the label position to none. We also need to go in and put no fill for this line here, otherwise it will show up. And there you have a column chart with an image fill that spans the chart. Just keep in mind that we've fixed the maximum height for the vertical axis. So if these values change, you may need to alter that axis. Area charts can also have a picture fill and it's much easier to set up. Here I've got Microsoft share prices for the past year. Now I don't need a helper column for this data, so I can just go ahead and insert a regular chart. So we want an area chart. Let's bring it over here and I'll make it a bit bigger. To apply the picture, simply select the area and then on the fill, picture or texture, let's remember the one from my clipboard. I'm going to choose a different one. So let's go and find a stock image and we'll search for images related to computer. Now it's important that the image you choose won't be too affected if it's distorted because it will be compressed to fit the dimensions of the chart. I'm going to choose this one here. It's a bit abstract. And there you go. Now, if you want to give the area a bit more definition, you can add the price series again. Before I do that, I'm just going to go and remove the title and the grid lines. And then I'm just going to select all the prices again, copy them to my clipboard, click on the chart, control V to paste. Now I want to change the series type here. So in the chart design, change chart type. This one, I want to be a line and click OK. So we can leave it orange. It's a bit in your face. So let's tone that down. We'll make it a solid line and we might set it to this bright blue color and I'll just make the line a bit thinner. And that just makes the undulations easier to see. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Keep in mind that picture fill charts are suitable for infographics and fun reports, but I wouldn't necessarily use them in corporate style reports. Okay, go ahead and download the Excel file containing the completed charts for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.